Can you hear my voice? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Everyone, please give your attendance at first, okay? Okay, please tell me what had we done in our previous class. What class did you do in the last class? Uh, everyone, please give your attendance at first. All of you, can we hear my voice clearly? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, please give your attendance at first. So, what have you done in our next? Sir, Dhukta Jan. Achha, achha. Okay, so we just done a problem uh, which is related to boundary value problem. Okay, so uh, we just saw that uh, harmonic equation or suppose one kind of Laplacian equation which have some boundary conditions. Okay, so uh, you have to solve uh, this kind of problems by using um, the separable variable method. Okay. So let me start my class. Yeah, the problem is the question. Let's try you. function Zero, no, zero. Let's go on. Okay, there was a problem where we say that solve del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square equals to zero under this boundary condition. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to the class just only separable method use for Okay. Do you remember anything about this problem? Anyone? 
<clears throat> can you see my board clearly everyone yes sir okay so please tell me how can we solve this kind of problems we just did in our last class and also not finish it what we have to do at first for solving this kind of problem Do you remember anything? Okay, if it is a boundary value problem, then how can we solve this kind of problems? Anyone? যদি আমাদের बाउंड्री ভ্যালু প্রবলেম হয় তাহলে আমরা কিভাবে সলভ করতে পারি এই প্রবলেমগুলোকে বাউন্ডারি ইনিশিয়াল ভ্যালু প্রবলেমগুলোকে খেয়াল আছে তোমাদের ওকে সো when i see that this is your boundary ভ্যালু প্রবলেম অলসো গিভেন এ बाउंड्री কন্ডিশন সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু সো this kind of problems by using separable variable form okay or separable variable method or product method okay. for solving this kind of problems you have to use uh, uh, u x y equals to x x and y y okay so amra goto class e eta korechhilam thik ache just কিভাবে আমরা একটা প্রোডাক্ট নিয়ে দুটো ইন্ডিপেন্ডেন্ট ভেরিয়েবল হাউ ক্যান সলভ দিস কাইন্ড অফ প্রবলেম ওকে এই ক্ষেত্রে আমরা কি করব হিয়ার দিস ইজ আওয়ার ইকুয়েশন ওয়ান ওকে অ্যান্ড ইউ হ্যাভ টু ফাইন্ড আউট ডেল স্কোয়ার ইউ বাই ডেল এক্স অ্যান্ড অলসো ডেল স্কোয়ার ইউ বাই ডেল বাই এট ফার্স্ট ওকে সাপোজ দিস ইজ ইন ইউর ইকুয়েশন থ্রি অ্যান্ড ডিফারেন্সিয়েট ইউ উইথ রেসপেক্ট টু এক্স and also y two times okay at first uh, then you have to input those things in here in equation one and after that you can uh, get your required solution okay from there by using a separable variable format okay uh, if it is first order and first degree equation then you have to find out or you have to let any constant which is equals to n your fraction is equals to n but uh, if it's higher order equation then you have to use a constant which is minus lambda square okay then you can find out the uh, solution of your given equation okay. so eta diye amra goto class e discuss korechi korechilam tar pore ektu revise korchi okay where is my test tool So we just saw that our previous class is where uh, uh, del square u by del x square equals to you can write x double prime y and also del square u by del y square that means x y double prime and after that using one you can get x double prime y x y and from here you can see okay so let me say something uh, 
what will be the constant term for this fraction? আমরা কি নিতে পারি এখানে ফ্র্যাকশন এই ফ্র্যাকশনটার জন্য আমরা কি কনস্ট্যান্ট ডেট করতে পারি মাইনাস ল্যামডা স্কয়ার সো আই ইউ हैव टू লেট মাইনাস ল্যামডা স্কয়ার ফর সলভিং দিস কাইন্ড অফ ফ্র্যাকশনস ওকে সো হিয়ার অলওয়েজ ট্রাই টু রিমেম্বার ইফ ইওর गिवन ইকুয়েশন ইজ ফার্স্ট অর্ডার এন্ড ফার্স্ট ডিগ্রি ইউ हैव टू লেট অনলি এন ওকে বাট ফর Higher order equation, you have to let minus lambda square. Then you can find out the solution of from the here. Okay. So suppose this is equation five, and from here you can say x double prime x equals to minus lambda square, and also y double prime y minus zero to minus minus lambda square, and after that. can say so this is equation 6 and this will be 7 okay. <coughs> so from here now you have to find out the solution of equation Six and equation seven. Okay. <clears throat> um. Okay. Here one cos lambda x for y one. So here is the solution of equation six and also seven. One of them is eight six equals to a one cos lambda x plus b one sine lambda x, and another one is a two cos hyperbolic lambda x plus b two sine hyperbolic lambda x. So, I'm writing over the solution. We'll be able to have a lot of class to discuss for a change. Okay, everyone, please give your attendance at first. For that, that's why we have a problem. Why not? So, we'll join for a short, short attendance to give you. Okay, so here, I'll take a look at x and y. That means the solution of six and seven. Now, using these two things, you can say from three. X x y. From here you can say a one cos lambda x plus b one sin lambda x, and also a two cos hyperbolic lambda x plus hyperbolic. So this is the last one. This is seven. This is equation eight. Okay. So. This is our solution, which is u x comma y equals to a one cos lambda x plus b one sine lambda x and into a two cos hyperbolic lambda x plus b two sine hyperbolic lambda x. <clears throat> so this is the result. Now uh, you have to find out the values of this constant term by using your boundary conditions. Okay. And From two and three, we already know that u u is 
Equation <coughs> two and three. This is our boundary condition. So now you have to find out the uh, values of a one, a two, b one, b two uh, using these conditions. Okay. So if we use these things, where u zero comma y, then what will be our equation in? Turns into you have to use this one at first where u zero comma y. Okay, so here is your solution ux comma y equals to this. Now you have to put x equals to zero in here. So if you put x equals to zero in here, then what will be our result? Anyone? What about it? So if I put x equals to zero in here, then what will be the result from here? Uh, what we we get? Okay. Two. Okay, it's actually of y, okay. This is equal to this is y. That means I'm uh, the y solution to pay chill on the kitchen. Y y means a to cos hyperbolic lambda y plus b to sin hyperbolic lambda y. Okay. This is the solution of y. Now just using these conditions you can get this thing why okay now from here you can say to zero so here you can say a1 equals to zero Now I give Again, from here you can say this is not equals to zero. So you can say here a two equals to zero. So by using your boundary conditions, you can say here a one equals to zero and also a two equals to zero. Now uh, put those that in equation eight. You can give
So here is another one. This is nine. Okay. So using those boundary conditions, you can get uh, u x comma y equals to b sine hyperbolic lambda x and hyperbolic lambda y. Okay. Now again, uh, the rest of the parts, if you uh, use u one comma y equals to zero, then you can say here. So, from here, so if b equals to zero, then you can say that uh, the solution is identically zero because if you put b equals to zero in equation nine, then you can get zero the result. Okay, and but if equals to uh, if sine lambda equals to zero, then you can say another solution of nine, which is Lambda will be by x. So here is your solution. So this is your solution, uh, which is u x comma y equals to b sine m pi x into sine m pi y okay now please tell me uh, you can see here that here is another new constant which is m pi that means same and also you have another constant which is b okay so you will have remove kora jayne solution theke you will man gula amra ekhono bear korte parini so eta bear korar jonno what we have to do which principle we have to use for finding the values from here or the solution from here <clears throat> anyone बोलते पर बे की करता है बे सो 
Roll 15. Abdul Hasil Hassan, are you there? Can you hear me? Roll 15. Yes, sir. Okay. I can't keep both of them. I can keep Sir, shoot the filter, sir. What kind of formula? I mean, it is a solution page. Now, act a principle use for the way. Principle take care of that, sir. No, sir. Okay, thank you. Rose 21. Sheikh Salman. Rose 21. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry, sir. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. আমরা গত কয়টা ক্লাসে করেছিলাম তোমাদের এই बाउंड्री কন্ডিশন প্রবলেমগুলো সলভ করার জন্য যখন নিউ কনসেপ্ট টার্ম যেগুলোর ভ্যালু আমরা বের করতে পারিনি তখন আরো এক্সট্রা কিছু ওয়েতে আমাদেরকে এটা সলিউশনটা বের করতে হয় ওকে সো একটা প্রিন্সিপাল ছিল সেই প্রিন্সিপালটা খেয়াল আছে কিনা কার সুপারপজিশন প্রিন্সিপাল হ্যাঁ বলো আগে সুপারপজিশন প্রিন্সিপাল ইয়েস সুপারপজিশন প্রিন্সিপাল ইউ or finding these values from here by using a superposition principle. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, find out <coughs> the required solution from here. You have to use superposition principle. Okay. Now, you already know that. This will be changed. Mm -hmm. X. Back at the ignore uh, summation, which is u x comma y equals to summation b m sine m pi x into sine hyperbolic uh, sine hyperbolic m pi y. Okay, so now you have to find out the solution from here. Okay, now. Using the last condition, which is u x comma one equals to u one, we can get.
So here you can say from one equals two. You can get here U1 equals to this. Okay, now you have to uh, find out the solution by using <clears throat> Fourier series or Fourier transformation. Okay, so um, I hope that all of you know about the term which is Fourier series. Okay, to make Fourier series, Shampu ke jano shabai. Fourier series. Yes. Okay. So, for finding the solution from here, you have to use Fourier series. Okay. You remember the formula uh, if fx be a bounded or periodic function, then what is our Fourier series? And what is the formula of Fourier series for fx? What about it? Anyone? Okay. This is your task. <clears throat> so, anyone can you please tell me uh, if fx be a bounded or periodic function, then uh, it's for your series fx equals to four. Anyone? Okay, so um, next class at Umrama Kitha State Act, I don't answer the page actually for your series a formal to key how is it bounded high periodic function. Hai. So, what will be the result? Then, I'm uh, last step to go uh, finish for it. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you, everyone.